So hello everyone and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 2 here on Twitch streams and later on in YouTube as well. And good evening to you too, Tajunta, Hyvää And uh, welcome to stream for you too, and I hope you have had a good weekend as well. Uh, there is daylight savings, yes, but apparently not at the same time now as you guys have, so... But yes, there is uh, daylight savings. I don't recall, remember, when our daylight savings are going to be moved now, next time. So, to be honest, I don't recall. <laughs> I always only know when it act actually has been changed. And, uh, yeah. Or it's close to being changed. Does anyone else remember when the daylight savings happens here in Finland? Hmm. But uh, yeah, it happened at one point where Platon is also kind of complained about it because it didn't happen in the Russia when it happened in Finland. And well, it's always then difficulty, like uh, again, reorganized that well. Now you're not actually streaming the same time as before for me, so. 21st of March, I think, mm, might be. So not too far off then. If that's the time when it's gonna happen. I would assume that it's the same time here, like in pretty much all of the European countries, so I assume it's that one. So soon enough, soon enough. But yeah, it's kind of strange why the full world doesn't then use at least the same day for daylight savings when it is used, rather than just uh, having different days for that when it happens. Oh well, got to live with it. Ah, anyways, uh, definitely we have to go the man wishes to, speak to, you in the debriefing room, Commander. to the Illusion Man first and foremost. And um, hmm, I guess I did do everything otherwise before I need to go into here. And uh, like I was mentioning, I think that I will then do one of the recruitment missions this time around as well. Whatever it would be, I'm not sure yet. But we'll see, we'll see. I would like to do something like for Tali and Karus too, but maybe I'll do the the Illusive Man mission, then go and recruit maybe the Chustigar or the Assassin. Though at least one person in YouTube said that there's also some problems with the Assassin mission sometimes that it should be done in the, like, the... Um, as last thing in a stream, so that might be something to consider at least. But maybe I'll then go and uh, hire the Chustigar, or try to get him to be hired, and then go do either Tali or Garus still today. So those would be the three plans that might happen today, exactly. We'll see how much we'll get to done this time around. I uh, hate to bring this up, we're not going to use European summer time in Australia. Mm. Yes, I'm not too surprised about that. Uh, I don't know of any problems with that mission. I don't know. It was just mentioned that, uh, like before, I had that one problem with the mission where we went to do the extra stuff for... Because I just remember it was mentioned with the assassin mission. But I went to do the... Uh, what's the name? I can try to now recall the name <laughs> of this one character. Because there was that time when it happened to at least be at the end of the stream that we I ran into that problem with her, Kasumi Koto, when we, we went to do her mission. And uh, yeah, it was just a black screen until I then loaded at least uh, my own save rather than the auto save, and it actually managed to work. So, I don't know. Maybe there isn't any problems, but someone mentioned it in the... or the... Tomitos, I think, mentioned it on the YouTube that there has been some, that or some would have had problems with it, but at least I recall that it was the Assassin recruitment mission, or maybe it would be the mission to do for Assassin. I have no idea anymore, but something like that. I just remember that that was a thing. Okay, Elusive Man, let's do it. Passing the Elusive Man through, Commander. Okay, the elusive man. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. 
I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. I'll just ask these questions again so we, I completely remember what was going on and uh, then we'll start the mission. So the Turians disabled it how? Hard to imagine how a no. Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. Are the Turians investigating? If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. And how did you learn uh, here about this? You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Alrighty then. And uh, hmm, interesting, I know the Lair of Shadow Broker DLC mission always crashes for me. Okay, good to know that too, plebs. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it is something that many have problems the other one but it's still just to, to be a little bit more sure i think it is still then safer to maybe also leave that layer of the shadow broker as something like uh, as the last mission to do for the stream rather than do it on the middle so that uh, could hopefully avoid those problems when uh, like uh, starting the stream and everything okay i'll check it out send me the coordinates and i'll take care of it already sent once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Thanks. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. When the Collector General possesses one of his drones, its defensive and offensive abilities are greatly enhanced. Yes, we were fighting those at one point. In that one mission. I was also considering that maybe I'll try the insanity difficulty at some point, but I don't think I'll try it yet. I have no idea who I would like to take with me, to be honest. There's only three more that I can recruit, and I think this is someone that we don't know yet who exactly it will be. Maybe it will be Liara, I have no idea. Uh, Liara could be at least someone we meet with the Shadow Broker thing, I think. But uh, these two, nonetheless. Okay, who do I want to bring with us? I usually always like to bring Karis, but I also like Dali a lot, so to be honest, I like them both the most, but they are kind of similar, so I wouldn't want to bring them both, so that's the only problem there. Um, who do I want to bring? Eh, uh, Karis and... Should I bring Krant? Should I bring Krant and Tali? Nah. Let's, let's just do it like this this time around. Kra Kra Garrus and Tali. Maybe it's not the best setup for a team, but I like them both, so I'll bring them. So. I wanted to save these points. Garrus, Garrus has four, so Garrus could definitely do something. And one of the following options increases Garrus' weapon damage or increases Garrus' health. Or greatly increases overload damage, destabilizes soon to the game, it causes them to explode when destroyed, or greatly increases the explosion radius of overload, making it easier to hit multiple targets. Mm. I think I went Dali Garrus the full time too. Mm. Shepard, Dali, and Garrus. You can never go wrong with the three musketeers. Yes. For sure. Ah, uh, you don't have anything yet there. Mm, I guess I could do this to be honest though. Overload is definitely a good one. Then it's just a question which one. Your pulse now damages into the enemy so brutally that they explode on dead. Mm. Stun length. Shield and synthetic damage. Impact radius. Recharge time. Impact radius. Weapon overheat length. You have increased your pulse's strength to cover a wide area, making it easy to hit multiple targets. Mm, I usually go for the heavy for the them because my singularity or and stuff like that affects many, but maybe I'll go for the area overload this time around rather. Just affect more of them at once. Sure. 
And I think I selected the weapons that I wanted for them, so... We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Hmm. Interesting. The collector ship is definitely weird looking. scans do not detect any looking. cold breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. They sure do have a strange ship. Tally Hartley needs to change a thing. I love what they've done with the place. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your heart suit computer. Okay, if you say so. Anyone else getting dropped frames? Yeah, that's the problem. Like, it's showing to me even 11% at the moment, but there's not much I can do about it, to my knowledge at least. So, Twitch is just having problems, which is annoying. But it's saying, yeah, OBS, OBS is saying to me that 3,442 overall dropped frames, and it's about 11.6%, which does suck. But, uh,. So even more than the 7% that it was before, so yeah, it is 11% uh, now. Kina said she'd noticed it earlier. Yeah, it's more than a, it usually is. Like, usually it's about at maximum 6% or 2% or something like that, but now it's 11%, so... I don't know. Audio is at least perfect, which is good. Glad to hear that. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's even about just that. It's just the... Usually, OBS never shows drop frames to be 12%, like it's showing now. So, it's just Twitch doing something or something happening weird. So, I don't know. Can't really say much about it. I just, I really wish that it wouldn't be so many drop frames. Well, we'll see how this will go. And I'll at least do this mission and at least it's gonna be recorded perfectly because I can record it without having to take it from the... Uh, Twitch streams, so at least it's gonna be better for the YouTube later on, but uh, yeah, it's just a shame that you guys can't en enjoy it um, as well as I would wish that you could. But yeah, it's just, it's even rising, it's now 13%, so it's just like <laughs> getting higher up there, the drop the frames, so it's really annoying. I don't really know what to do about it though. I don't have anything extra on or anything of a like, to my knowledge, at least. Unless Windows has decided to do something that it shouldn't be doing. So... <sighs> and yes, sad face. It's very much a sad face. Well, at least we're playing this mission through and see how this proceeds, but uh, yeah. It's very annoying. Before it was only at least... I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Oh, interesting. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard. If they're still alive. I don't know if they would be, but they might be on board, of course. Maybe stream at 720p in the future. I don't know. You can deal with it, hopefully. Uh, yeah, now it's 13.7%. It's just freaking increasing 13.9. Uh, but yeah, it's not like it usually 
has that big of an issues, but at the moment it definitely seems to be just having a huge, huge issue. But I think it's more about Twitch than anything else. I wonder if I can change it somewhere easily. Hmm. I could, of course, just go on and try to check it quickly. Hmm. It's always the problem of getting actually into there anyways. That can I actually say that stream for less? I don't, I haven't checked that for, you know, OBS. OBS for a while, so it's kind of the... Just a shame when this can't really go easily. It's one of those games which again has the issue of not actually... Not being able to know how to let me go and check those things while... While I'm playing, as in... Oh, you wanna be going into the... Um... um Windows? No, you can't go and go into visit Windows while you're here, you know? If I do that, then at least I can go and check easier here. I just, uh, have to look. Uh, drop frames reported by OBS is usually performance on your machine, right? Mmm... Well, it's not usually that high. So, it usually seemed to be rather connected to Twitch, to be honest. And yeah, some problems with the stream. Might be something that I need to have a look if I can think to check some other time though, because it doesn't even really show that I can change these things while I am streaming, so I would need to be going and uh, doing something then else. But yeah, it's just increasing all the time, so it's not like I can play completely normally. It's not like the game is having any problems with me dealing with uh, me playing it. So I don't really see how it would be about my computer having the problem, but rather Twitch just not being able to work at the moment like it should be. Because I can completely easily play. My I see no difference here for myself, it's just that the OPS reports that there's a lot of drops things and the full overall the connection with the KB per second is like uh, going red very often, which is the problem. It's going orange, yellow, red very often. It's saying green only very little time in general, so it's uh, unfortunate, but I'm not sure what I can do about it really other than just at least record it so that it's gonna be better for you too but uh, i'll try to at least check a little bit forward so we can actually do something the collectors use these containers on horizon but these are empty it must have been horrible trapped in these pods helpless completely at the mercy of the collectors sure has been Hello and good evening to you, Milan. Welcome to the stream for you. And uh, thank you for sharing the channel with Zeneko. Welcome to the stream for you too, if you're gonna be staying and anyone else will join from with Zeneko's channel. Um, well, there were dropped frames quite a lot. That was the issue, basically. A lot of dropped frames. Hello, Specky. Welcome to the stream. And uh, hopefully... Your weekend has been a good one, just like for Vizeneko and Milan as well. Hmm. This hasn't exactly been opened, but I guess there's nothing inside dead bodies. Well, that's good. What happened here? Excellent question. Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. Hmm. Well, maybe they are better off now, I guess. There are worse things than death. 
Like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Oh, well. Yes, just a lot of dead people. Oh, well. Yes, I understand, Mr. Neku, that you can't be staying, so good night and sweet dreams to you. Hope to see you then next weekend, again with the Borderlands and everything. Though, of course, before you can say, you can also say your experience about the dropped frames that OPS shows to 17.7%, because Jim Jim was asking that, is it more of a issue with your computer and stuff like that considering uh it's showing me quite a lot of drop frames at the moment i don't have any idea if you had any problems while you streamed this set but yeah it's showing me at the moment 17.7 percent of the drop frames which is quite a lot so unfortunately so and more dead people it's kind of strange when there's no combat at all, it's just going through this place and just dead. Dead and dead people. All of them was very dead. Well, that's one of the collectors being dead. At least someone else than a human, I guess. So what's this then? That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Okay. Well, what did they find out? Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? These are only preliminary experiments, but they reveal something remarkable. Quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. Um okay. Interesting. So the collectors would be Proteans, but are they then indeed uh, Proteans that had been left to serve or were left to serve in here, the Reapers, but on the other hand, it would be kind of strange in some sense, considering they had nothing to do with the Reapers before, or the Sovereign, at least, to our my knowledge or our knowledge, so I'm not sure. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Hmm. And you are sure about this? You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I have already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta cluster, but there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes, reduced heterochromatin structure, elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Strange, slash interesting. To be honest, at least it hasn't started to increase anymore. The 17% has stayed at 17%. It maybe just it has recorded that that's how much it was dropping, but maybe it doesn't. Then it's not getting worse at least anymore. Okay, good that you haven't noticed problems then. Seems better now. Spoke too soon. Ah, then there was some drops. Yeah, sometimes it's just going into reds. The gigabit cent per second part is going quite often into the reds. So, have you tried changing servers? I guess I could try to do that. I'm using the Stockholm, which is, generally speaking, the closest for me. So. Uh, that's a horrible fate, yes. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. 
They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Uh... Choose specialization. Oh, I can choose specialization. I don't know what to choose. Um... Huh. Sniper rifle, I guess, could work, but on the other hand, I've already used pistols all the time, so I'm so used to using pistols. Uh, submachine gun works from the close-up pretty nicely. Hmm. I like try to think. I guess sniper rifle might be the most efficient, or shotgun if I want to be bringing down armor because. That shotgun could be... I could be using some shotgun that could be very good at taking out armor, which could be nice. So it might be that, considering I usually have the most difficulty when the enemies come up close. And I can do well enough when they are far away. So that's a possibility. Well, but I'm not in Helsinki. Stockholm basically is closer to mine than Helsinki is, so... Even if it's, uh... That's, that was not the last the one that uh, was pointed to me to be the closest, and it is kind of closest after all. If, like, uh, Helsinki is further away from me. So... It was terrible for me, of course it's further from here, yeah. But uh, Helsinki is definitely further away, and usually I don't have problems with the Stockholm, so... It's not something that I have usually worried about, because it's not usually something that I have had problems with. I guess I'll take shotgun training just for the fact that it might be nice in situations when the enemy is close and I need to take out armors, because that's the problem part, usually speaking, for me. Uh, sniper rifle, interesting. Assault rifle, interesting, but... Hmm. Well, I have shotgun training now. I definitely... I'm not sure if that's the best one for me, but I have it now. Not assault rifles. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's the best or not. Um, how, Where are I able to actually... At the same time try to check if I can change the uh, place from Stockholm into... Hmm. No, I can't do it during the start time when I am streaming. If it's really continuous for a long time, then I guess I should be looking into changing that and we'll see about it. But let's at least try to continue for a bit longer and see if it gets any better. If it doesn't, then I guess I'll try to do the Stockholm or change that into a different place as in Helsinki then. But uh, okay. No, that thing. Let's try to do, go back to the graphics. I do still like this so that my mouse doesn't just immediately leave on its own. Borovo servers, yes. Uh, there is no best. You like what you like and find useful, so I guess shoddy works. You never used it yourself. Mm. Well, like I said, I have no idea if this is the best. Because of where kind of a uh, logical reasons, I'm not sure at all if that's the best. But just in a sense that maybe it can work nicely here. But no, it's not like I... That was the first thing that I was thinking of doing. But on the other hand, I usually have problems with armors. And uh, certain shot that at least Tali is using seems to be very good, so... You can't try weapons before you choose it. I have no idea. Besides, I'm already kind of using enough snipering in the, uh, say, uh, Borderlands, so <laughs> in that sense, I guess this will be a little bit of a change for Fate, at least. See how it might go. Did I go back? The way we came from? Yeah, I think so. Ah, silly me. 
yeah, we came into here from this direction and then we would need to go there. Drop some jam on the carpet. Uh, yeah, that is annoying. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely a little bit annoying. Uh, squat weapon. Yeah, well, I would like to definitely then have a look about this uh, shotgun. Katana shotgun. Is this the we best? Very effective against shields and biotic barriers? No. I want something that is effective against armor, just because. This dramatically improves its armor piercing capabilities, die group in health wound ballistics. Mm. So, two militaries. Human civilian design. Mm. I guess this is then the one that I should be using. I guess. <laughs> Your brain can sleep. Yes, you were supposed to sleep. Oh no. <laughs> uh, happily gone to the end of the game without any special training, so it's all good. Yeah. I would assume so. But hey, good night and sweet dreams, Visse. Uh... And have a good week. Look, on the ceiling, more of those strange pots. There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Hmm. Well, not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but... <sighs> oh well. Guess not too much we can do about it anyways, be it good or bad. Collector technology. I like that. A lot of credits. Happy to get credits. It's just so weird when there's no combat still. It's like, there should be some combat or something, but nothing. Nothing as of yet. But I guess everyone just died in here, so I guess it makes sense. This should come in handy. Mm, upgrade for the armor, Commander, which is nice. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on the ship. Mm -hmm. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Yeah, well, if you, there's a warning like that, I could assume that there's gonna be combat soon. Hello, Saten Tenho. Welcome to stream for you too. And uh, hope you have had a good weekend. But yeah, do let me know, guys, if the, there's way too much drops, uh, frames and everything. Then I may just have to try to restart this full stream and uh, change the streaming service to another place. And maybe it will help. They could take every human in the Terminus systems and still not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. Yeah, this is a quite of a big place. For sure. Just slightly big. Just slightly big collector ship. Very nice view though, I gotta say. It's a very nice atmosphere if this can be called nice that there on the platform looks like some kind of control panel mm -hmm. where are the bodies of the collector crew careful shepherd something doesn't feel right about this that is true there is no sign of dead bodies anywhere of the of them Edie, i'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship see if you can get anything useful from the databanks Data mine in progress, Shepard. I was wondering if this day will try to hack back or something. Yeah. Uh, that can't be good. Status report now, please.
What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. Of course. What a surprise that we would be walking into a trap. I was talking about the fact that this thing was way here. too easy. Great, great. There we go with collectors. I need to finish the download before I can override any systems. You better get it done fast, Edie. We've got incoming hostiles. Yes, and quite a bit of them too. <sighs> okay, well. Hostile! This should run through their armor. Ah! Oh no, not that thing. Not that damnable thing. I'm not really sure that this can reach, or how well this can reach that far, but... This is good against the armor if I can hit that far, that is. Okay, these guys on this side need to be taken care of too. Uh, what's going on with you when you're complaining so much? Uh, someone was able to shoot me too, that's still... That's annoying. Ew, well... Guess just resume. It is smooth till now, Kide. Good to know. Good to know, cheese Dolly. <laughs> but yeah, that was quite a bit of screams from her. Yeah, this is gonna be... This is not gonna be good, exactly. Um... Before I can override any systems. Then you better get it done fast, Edie. We've got incoming hostiles. Garus, stay here too. Trouble to the right. <laughs> Down. Ah! Branch one. Tali is the one that I can try to hopefully keep there. Okay, that guy is taken over by that thing. Come on, Edie, speed it up. Another platform coming in. Okay, at least the barrier is gone. There's also still the problem that that thing exists. You cannot resist. The forces of the universe bend to me. Oh. Yeah, sure, sure. You cannot resist. Got one. Ah. At least that doesn't seem to reach here, so that's the one good thing about it all. But I still hate it, so I would really, really love to be able to get rid of it. Really, really would love to. <laughs> it's very annoying when my warp goes somewhere completely the wrong place, anyways. Let's see if I can at least get the warp into there. I don't like you doing that. But I guess there's not much I can do about the fact of you taking the direct control. Yes, I've noticed that fact, unfortunately. That's annoying. Someone just stunned me and then I died, basically. Okay, fine. I guess I would have needed to do the barrier there. But I tried to save it for the situation when I really, really, really need it, so... Six pack a day, Dolly. Mmm. But yeah, I kind of feel that Karis needs to be here with me. And, uh... Or, I can try to be asking them to be in these positions. Maybe. It's not exactly perfect, but... Maybe that could work better. 
than the other one. The other choice. I don't like you doing that, that's for sure. At least take out that barrier immediately. Uh, to be honest, I can at least try the shotgun now. But uh, also, they are both already down because they would be in those positions, so... It definitely doesn't seem like the best. It is efficient against uh, in that range, at least against armor, though, so it did do its job in that sense. Then stay down. Yeah, and uh, we have still not been able to take care of this guy, which is a huge problem, I'd say, and I can't get anything else done yet, which is also an issue. Yep, yep. And I basically would need a tally bag and I need pretty much everything. Okay, just bring, bring tally bag now because otherwise we're pretty much dead too. Um Okay, is there something else that I need to specifically do? Let's just try to get this barrier down. Yeah, the Dolly is back up, but Garrus is down, which is a huge issue. No, don't you dare do that. That's the stupidest thing that you could ever decide to do to actually jump over that freaking thing. I was trying to go back to, into cover, but then she jumped over that bar uh, barrier. <sighs> yes, and yes, Harpringer is a pretty, pretty big control freak. Main mi missions are almost always the most difficult ones. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Therapy might work, so it might. I guess I'll just ask Tali to then go into here get it done fast, Edie. We've got incoming hostiles. and just have this way otherwise. Okay, because Kairos can at least Everyone. do more when she, he's here, a little bit more protection, but we can't all be there unfortunately, even though I would love to, but... My shields are down. I hate you assuming that Direct control. Combat drone away. You will not stop me. Unless you have no more barrier, which is okay. You will no pain, Shepard. I just wish that I could Another be doing something here. way more about that thing. I guess I could try to go closer into it, but it just doesn't seem like the most efficient thing either for me to really go there. Okay, at least that thing is gone. Direct intervention is necessary. I still can't do the thing that I would like to do. Okay, I need to do the shotgun plus then also try to get barrier up. Because otherwise I'm dead. My attacks will tear you apart. I know. I'm trying to wait for my shield. <laughs> okay, now perfect time to get you guys up. But I couldn't because that freaking bastard basically. 
this is my only hope, <laughs> basically. I would love to be able to do more, as in actually attack, but I can't attack now. Okay, whew. That was uh, way too close a game. Okay, that guy is almost dead again, at least. Good girl, yes. For sure, Rhys. Shame that I can't get there closer. I would really like it if you didn't, but I understand that you do. Let's stay down. We are your genetic destiny. Okay, got the armor at least down. Okay, I need Garrus back too. Uh, so let's do that quickly. Uh, okay, that guy is already coming this way. The forces of the universe bend to me. Mm. Ignore the ah. fallen. Ah. Taking heavy fire. Short sighted. Okay, but now Tali is again gone. Can't say I'm very happy about that situation. This should slow him down. Okay. I'll wait until I can try to bring Dali back. If only I had ammo, that would work better for all the way down there. Against that thing, but I don't really have that. I would probably need to change to the more accurate submachine gun, to be honest. I think that would be for the best. How can I not even see that I'm doing something against it very efficiently? It's still able to hit all the way over here. Uh, I'm just not very efficient from here. Guess I have to try to get closer. At least there doesn't seem to be other enemies at the moment, so I guess that's all that I can really hope for in the end then. Go for the optics, Jessica. Go for the optics. Would that be finally it? Please. <sighs> Shepard, you must manually re-establish my link to the command console. Fine. Fine. At least it's over with. Hmm. You do not have fighting music. It's the weird exploring creepy ship music. I guess it's fucked. Now it's picking up. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Is it supposed to be a different right now? Hmm. Now it's the correct one. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can't just assume direct control these days, bro. <laughs> Definitely not. I think the shotgun works well enough, but I think I should change the submachine gun to the other ones that is the... Not good against the close-up enemies, but the one that can shoot well also into high distance. Then basically both of these can shoot into a better distance, and then this is just against the armor. Um... But uh, then, yes, indeed, something that uh, I'll use if I have to in a close range. And then I can do something else close range if I need to. That's my plan, anyways. <sighs> do you remember shitty cow fast boss from something else, Kide? I yes, I do. Control of the platform, Shepherd. 
I do remember it. Good work. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Uh-huh. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Hmm. That actually makes more sense than Turians being able to take this down. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? <gasps> or it is okay to jump, uh, send us into a trap, but he should have uh, told us that it was a trap, most likely. Or a possibility of trap. Rather. Well, don't jump into conclusions yet. We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. This is a bad time to become an Optimus, Shepard. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. You okay? Can I save? Yes, good. But yeah, I assume that uh, he did it on purpose, but his purpose reason for it was something like, well, I knew that you would be able to take care of it or something like that, which isn't really uh, good enough anyways. Well, I, apparently I got even more cash from there. <laughs> Okay, doing too much damage, and of course he's again assuming control, like always. Direct intervention is necessary. I evaded your shot. Hey, your form is fragile. I wanted to take out that barrier immediately, first and foremost. Now I just gotta be waiting for a bit, for sure, until I can try to go and uh, get back up. I hate that. I always hate that. It feels so unfair when it's uh, pushing you out of there and then you kind of really don't have a choice in the matter. You're just, well, what am I supposed to do? I can't even do anything anymore at this point. Uh, those are just the most annoying situations. Some other Bioware game? Yes. Baldur's Gate 2. That's, that's where it is from. Okay, I need to plan that a little bit more... Well, could I say better? So another quick save. Just go like that. Around the corner, take the door on your right. Okay, there was no door last time around in here, but fine enough then, I guess. Mm, Garrus, stay behind this one, okay? Going to ground. Dolly, to right. if you can rush into here, that would be kind of amazing. Not the right person to aim. I would love if I could have the shotgun. Okay, good. Got that guy down. Where is Dolly? Dolly isn't where she's supposed to be. Dolly, approach. Garrus can be where Garrus is, but uh, you are not supposed to be that far. Not that that weapon. I was trying to do the other weapon. Ah! 
Okay, I gotta do a little bit of barrier to just be making sure that I'm actually able to stay alive right now. I'm here. Neither of you way. did what you were supposed to do. With you, Shepard. Coming. You were way further away than you should be. Garrus, just a second. And now you're coming, coming still not to me, even though I asked you to come to me. What is wrong with you guys? Come. Right. Uh, apparently I can't ask you guys to go into protections that I'm asking you to go into because you don't use those protections. Fine then. What is Pinterest even exactly? Spam sewer. Nothing to do with the game, but why Oh, why did I join Pinterest now? It sends messages to me all the time. Yeah, I shouldn't join there. Uh, handcrafts led me into a wrong path. Mm, yes. Uh, Tali here. Garrus here. Affirmative. Assuming the red control. At least I got those armors down, which is a benefit enough. This hurts you. My attacks will tear you apart. This is what you face. Revolution cannot be stopped. You cannot resist. No, that one. Like, it's sometimes when. Okay, I tried to run here. Well, okay, fine enough. You don't want to run there because you think that that's the better option to just uh, go a little bit of a distance and not really actually run very far at all. I don't like that guy being there. As they are. But I don't want to be using Medicell because I'm sure Garus will be okay for me not to use that little bit of Medicell. Where is the other guy? Okay, actually, this can't be an issue. The only good thing is that they're not coming to me yet, but now they are, so that's more of an issue. Yeah, I oh know. Assuming control of that form, which is very bad. Very, very bad. I am okay, I guess I have to bring them back up because otherwise I will probably die against that thing. Okay, let's just bring them back up. Minus two medicine, so I definitely don't have a lot of it in use anymore, which is also a problem. And stay down. Oh. Part because there's enemies now in both directions. Really, especially in that spot. Okay. And Garrus would be down again. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. No, uh, not again. I hate that. I hate that. Absolutely I hate that. Apart, I, I had to get that <laughs> a guy out, but I hate it when it's the same button. Everything is the same freaking button. Why is everything the same button? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Why is everything the same button? That's my only question. Ali, I need your help. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I No! Oh, yay, yay, yay. Space is used into too many things. Okay, Dali, I'm not sure if we're getting anywhere in here. I don't know if this is just 
the fact that there is a lot of these waves, but this is getting slightly annoying, if I could say so. Okay. And I don't think I have any medicine left, so now I'm completely on my own. And now there's these things. Great. I have to run. <laughs> because there's no way that in hell that I'll survive otherwise. Yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. Assuming. Uh, assuming, 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 assuming. I've noticed that. Where is the one that you're controlling? All the way freaking there. I like, basically have to stay, keep my distance if I want to have any chance of trying to do this. Ay uh, ay. Uh, if we're talking about emails, it should be at the bottom of every email that you get from them. Like, click to unsubscribe or something. Mm, there should be that. Uh, 1,100 messages. That's quite a few. Yeah, sometimes you might check on it. Just sometimes, though. Only sometimes. It's not really... ...that essential. Were there anyone in there? I'm slowly trying to do this. Very, very slowly trying to do this. The problem is that I know that I'm so low health that if I take any place that isn't good enough for protection, I'll just be doomed, basically. Where are you? I'm sure you didn't die yet. You are, of course, there. That's no surprise for me. If only I had Meditel at least, but no, no Meditel either, so. Your attack is an insult. Almost down with that. Not at the moment, no. One shot, one kill, woohoo. Dali and Garris are back. Ah, I somehow made it. He was being stupid. Ah, something I rarely do. Mm -hmm. I use primarily smoke signals, uh huh. Sure thing. Sounds good. Sounds like the good option to do. The smoke signals for sure. Okay, just try to get everything useful out of here for sure, Wiz. Some heavy weapons, some medichill, some of this stuff. Taking all of it for sure, Wiz. More than happily. I'm gonna check the upstairs, and I guess I should do safe. <sighs> So much talk about chats and spams and everything there. I guess it's not essential that I read all of it. <laughs> I haven't even gotten used to emails yet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, instant message is basically all of that. And of course there was the messenger back in the day long time ago and everything. Uh, where did I need to go? Objective is apparently that way. Didn't even notice that there was a way over there. 
But hey, at least I looted everything. So here. Alrighty. I'm sure there's gonna be more battle. Definitely. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. <laughs> Not that thing again. <laughs> Those freaking things. Well. Waiting for the warp. Are they dead completely? I guess they are, which is good. Uh, okay, you are again having the barrier. You are the freaking barrier beast. I don't like you at all. I have to wait. But I wasn't in a good position. I would have needed to be able to get into a better position. It's the problem when there's the runners who I need to avoid. And then there's this thing which I would need to be able to avoid. And there's more enemies coming in. So <sighs> a lot to take care of. For sure. And there's definitely less areas where I can go get into good cover from that. And I was trying to move into a little bit better cover. But definitely wasn't able to do it. Let's get into here, actually. I think this will be a lot better position to start with. Anyways. Well. Was yes, well. I'm hoping that there's not a husk nearby to me. Not yet, which is good. Why did you have to go into a place where you already died? Of course you're going and gaining your barrier back. Uh, the problem is, this is really not a good position to be in right now. I have to get this. I have to move, like surely. <laughs> I have to move, but then, yeah. <sighs> Got too far already, or went too far. This is a difficult battle for sure. Very much a difficult battle. Very, very much so. Will you join us uh, for Apex still? <laughs> mm. Okay. A door on the far side of the what could I do? Let's try to at least ask you to stay here, Garrus. I think that's probably for the best that you stay there with your sniper rifle and everything. I can probably start here, but the problem is that I can't be here for too long in all reality. Start dealing at least some damage to this damn thing. I wanna run away. I wanna run away. At least I still have this thing though. God damn it, it already goes and do dust that. Which really sucks. Just a little bit sucks. 
Okay, I guess Garrus should also be moving out of there now because that thing is going there, so it's not a good place to be in right now then. On your six. My attack was ineffective. I don't know if we can run from here or something, but uh, I assume it's not the best plan nonetheless. Felt that one. Okay. It does that so often, it's very annoying. Like, it's always like, yes, <laughs> it takes so long to take the freaking barrier down and then trying to do at least some damage to the freaking armor. Well, at least there's not other enemies at the moment, but when they come from behind me, that will be a huge freaking issue. Again, way too freaking close. Okay, can't do that more. Why would you do that? I try to start running. I freaking hate you sometimes. Fine, I'll try to get into this side then, because you're being freaking stupid. Absolutely freaking stupid. <sighs> so what's this also shields and pyotic barriers? Combat drone ready. Now it's alright getting that okay. You know? I definitely didn't manage to get hear what Edie said though. Yes, apparently we need to... Freaking A, and how... what killed me there? Do tell me, I have no freaking idea what killed me there. Did I need to go somewhere? Did Edie say that I needed to go somewhere? Because I de definitely didn't hear that. Uh, where the core is your enemy? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just so annoying because I can run with the same button as I can jump over the freaking stupid obstacle thingy. Why can't it be a different button? Because I want to be starting to run that way and then I accidentally jump over the stupid obstacle that I didn't definitely want to be jumping over. Ay, ay, ay. It's just annoying. And I don't have any idea what actually killed me. I guess it was just a blast because it went and uh, went down. But that was a lot of damage from that then. But it's difficult to kill when I don't even have those ammo for actually taking that down anymore. I guess I should just try to concentrate in killing the other thing first. As in, kill all the other enemies and then try to save everything for that. Bit, pretty much. That's my only idea at this point. Run away from here. I'm trying to get over here. 
hopefully a little bit better place to try to get take care of this and be safety from that but not in safety from it and I'm not in safety from this at the moment so what the hell am I supposed to do ay, ay, ay. just feels like <laughs> I don't know it just sucks angle huskies agile husky agile yes that was agile husk for sure I don't know maybe I should send Tali down there already hmm but uh, I'm just like wondering what would be the best position then for Tali to take. Not quite entirely sure about that either. Okay. So, Garus here. Tali, try to go and Bunker take that position. Please. The only good thing about this guy is that it usually likes to concentrate more into killing me. But that's the only thing that I can really think of being really good. Should punch through their armor. Where the hell did that even My go? Are down. And then that thing was already able to punch through my armor that freaking ridiculously well. Come with me, Garrus. Yeah, this isn't gonna work like this. Because last time those guys came more into this direction already. So that I was able to take care of them from the staircase. But I can't exactly go all the way there. Like that. Those main missions are just hard. Yes, yes, but it's still annoying in some certain... Like I said, uh, especially the space shouldn't be all the buttons that it supposedly is. It really, in my honest opinion, shouldn't. Right. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. Understood. I can't leave from here as early as I did last time around, I'd say. Go for the optics to Go for the optics. Go for the optics. We need to try something else. Okay, at least I got some damage into it. I need to get the barrier. Yeah, now it's doing that thing. So I will relocate into here and hopefully try to take care of these things first before having to worry about anything else. Not Tali. It's really annoying when Tali is already taken down again. Garus needs to move. Definitely. At this point anyways. Uh, I'll try to see if I can take care of this guy somehow first before having to move. You got it. Hopefully. Then in cover here, I'll bring Tali back. Hopefully. I guess I can ask Garrus to be here. I want to be getting into a different position. Uh, actually, this is the one that I want to be using. <sighs> I'll not ask Tali to be in any specific one place. Combat thrown away. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm trying to get into here. Attack was ineffective. 
got a problem here. Yeah, the door closed. Okay, that was the problem. Or the thing that we were talking about. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Yeah, temporary. Sure. Extremely temporary. Combat drone ready. Right. No, that again, please. Jump over it again then, you stupid freaking person, Shepard. Can't even go through here anywhere. It's the problem when it's the same button for freaking everything. Might as well try to bring at least Garrus back up. I pressed the freaking. I was trying to press the barrier. I hope that I was be able to run through that quickly. At least the start is going okay. Uh, I'll do fine if I just am able to somehow not like try to again locate myself to the other direction. Then it should be okay. But uh, like the starting positions and everything seems to be okay. It's just that I need to then do better there. I'm on it. I'd Taking say. Door on the far side of the room. You need to reload this shotgun, though, too. here at least uh, one round though. See if I can take this down a little bit. This should slow him down. Then change quickly the shotgun, try to do as much damage as I possibly can. It just does that very quickly. Uh, I already cast barrier and I already died so much. That's ridiculous. Okay, those guys are over there. They need to be taken care of. Uh, Tali, go a little bit more into there if you Got could. It. So that they would actually come into here rather than stay all the way down there because we can't really deal with those enemies unless they come into this way. I'm with you. Karis, move. You have to move. Okay, got that thing killed. Okay. If my friends can do it, I would be very happy. For sure, Wiz. This seems to be a good place to actually stay being cover from it. I want my shotgun back. My attack was ineffective. Yes, well. You guys just stay in cover and try to shoot it pretty much. That's the only ho hope that I have. That is definitely my only hope. Stay safe long enough to be able to get some more health. Back off, please. My attack was ineffective. Yes, yes, now it's definitely inefficient. Ineffective. Firing a high impact shot. Ready. 
Now just don't mess it up, basically. They're through my shields. Oh my freaking god. Well, I'd say the shotgun works well when you just find a position like this, but like trying to take cover there was a bad decision because it's definitely difficult to get out of there than when it gets close to you, but it's about finding a good position. Uh, oh well. Welcome back, also Specky. No music stream yet, yes. And yes, hopefully you can get the music stream soon. Yes, so helpful. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We made it. Great. Affirmative. I want ammo. <laughs> At least this shotgun is efficient against barrier shields and anything like that, which uh, and armors, which is very nice. So there is that benefit on that. Edie, we got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands through firewall 7164. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. Come on, guys. Down there. That's when we came in. We must be getting close to the end. I assume so, yes, but I would like to get this stuff first, though. Oh, what's this? Oh, my goodness. Was it there that we needed to go into? Maybe, but I'll definitely have a look into these other directions. Or was it that way? At first, be that way. I guess I can't drop down in here, even if uh, it seemed like a way to also be able to go. But yeah, we can't exactly drop down there. But yes, that's a familiar location. Hello Teuka and welcome to the stream for you too. I hope it's been a good weekend for you. And it's going okay. Me struggling with the combat of course, but this is a difficult mission against the collectors. I hate collectors. We've got trouble. Go get them, Pika. Good girl. Oh. That's annoying. That freaking thing exploded and we just happened to be already too close to it. <sighs> ah, noises and then immediate death as a result. Basically when Karis had to shoot it and kill it in that way. <sighs> Can you go there, Tali? Grabbing cover. Weapons ready. Ah! I'm not actually 100% sure if I'm good enough for protection ah! here, to be honest, either. Got one. Okay, assuming control, yes, like always you are. At least I got your barrier down, so that's one good thing. If I must tell you about Shepard, I will. Like I'm looking into that coming to me. Uh, I like to go into a different cover, I'd say. Maybe. Just like maybe. Continue. Face your annihilation. My attacks will tear you apart. Next state. I would prefer not. Oh. I definitely prefer your attacks not tearing me down. Tali is down, so I guess I'll bring oh. Tali back. Sure, sure. Away. Gets you guy first and then... Okay, we got them all, I think. For now. 
so we can't do a save, so fine enough, I cannot do a save, so I cannot do a save. Not much that can be done about that. Oh yeah, I wish you weren't. Deploying combat drone. Assuming control at this moment. Your form is fragile. Mm hmm So fragile. This hurts you. More than it hurts you, eh? It usually does. You cannot resist. I can resist. Oh. I'm resisting right now. Yes, but they didn't. So, what do you have to say for yourself? It's my question. What do you have to say for yourself when you didn't succeed where you needed to succeed? Where you were trying to succeed, but you failed. Oh, yeah. Of course, there is going to be more of them, which is in no way surprising. Firing eye impact shot! I would love to take them both out before it will assume control, but it uh, seems very unlikely in this situation. Please, yes. Very much see. Very sad. Sally <laughs> said it again. Sure thing, dude. So fragile. Let's see about getting the shotgun up when you're apparently wanting to come up here closer to me. Then I'll get you out of the game. Thank you very much. Uh, not that thing again. I hate that thing. I guess the only good thing is that it doesn't seem to be moving this way, but... No, assuming control. I should have been able to kill this earlier. For sure. Yes, I've noticed you did that. As much as I hate it, but you did do such a thing indeed. <laughs> this hurts you. Yes, yes, so you say. It's annoying when those powers don't hit it. Though. My attacks will tear you apart. Yes, yes. The I've heard it. Of the universe bend to me. You will no pain, Shepard. Sure. My attacks will tear you apart. It's just boring to be killing you over and over and over and I over again. I didn't feel that at all. You're hitting Garrus, you know. How am I supposed to feel it if you hit Garrus? I can take you down slowly but sure. Slowly but surely I can take you down. Then it's just this annoying thing, which is actually slightly moving, but not a huge deal. Yeah, I can't really shoot all the way there efficiently enough, so... I should be saving my ammo a little bit, I think, on that shotgun then. Or, if I go there, then I should just take the barrier and... Uh, Ooh, more ammo. I'm happy to get some more ammo. And then go with the shotgun. And one shot from it, it wouldn't be the end of the world anyways. And actually this combat drone is working very nicely for us as a distraction. So, that's excellent. Okay, can I save? Thank you. 
What are those? They look like some kind of mud of dirt that they are throwing. <laughs> mm, look at you, Gide. Killing proteans like that. Did you expect them to look like some kind of bug, Gide? Well, I didn't have any ideas what they would look like, to be honest. So, I didn't have really expectations. No expectations. Hey, Commander, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the Normandy in half. I'm trying to hurry if I could. Firing a high impact shot. <laughs> I don't like these things. I try to look if there's any others who are with the... I'm sure that my friends can take care of them when fire. I just... Friendly fire. prefer you to leave me alone, thank you. There we go. I was thinking that Garrus should be able to handle that one behind us. So, he was, which is good. Destroying all of these things, dude, at us. Um... We've been on Isles and they had that weird looking statues. Yes, like humans with stuff coming out of their mouths. And thus, I don't know if these are the original Proteans designed anyways, because it's not like we can exactly know that. Like, even if they would be have uh, almost Proteans, but their genetics were, after all, altered. So their form might have changed to a degree anyways. But yes, I do recall that the statues, uh, how the statues look, like humans with stuff coming out of their mouths. So before Mass Effect 1, I kind of assumed that this was how they looked. By the way, Dayonta. Uh, Majora's Mask. Can't save. Okay, finally. We're out of time, Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody on to the Normandy. Move! Kind of a close call. Strap in, people! I'm gonna make work for it this time. Wherever you want. Yeah. Very well. Engage in Mass Effect Core. So where is Eddie Edie going to bring us? I wonder. <sighs> I think it's there for two weeks. Yeah, I think it's about like that. Hmm. I think you can have it. I don't actually know if you can, but I think you would be able to have it there forever if you just uh, save a highlight, so to, so to speak, of the Machora's Mask. If you say that, okay, this part of it is the highlight that will be saved up. Because, yeah, uh, the stream will not be staying there unless you do something about it. But I think that you can also, like, actually save it in there if you wish. Hmm... Okay, Tayunta. I hope you have fun with Majora's Mask. <sighs> Gathered vital intel regarding Collectors and Omega 4 Relay, with Shepard's escape, Harpinger knows our true capabilities and will have to adopt new tactics. We'll have to be careful as Harpinger information network may rival Cerberus or Shadow Progress. Also appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. Edie's work was ex exceptional, however, proving value of shackled AI. 
damage protection, stack damages and stuff like that. A lot of stuff. Closer board. But nice to hear you're interested about it. Mm -hmm. I would like to watch some of those two otherwise, but maybe I'll play them someday. Maybe. There's a remote possibility for such things. Ah, in all reality, I probably should, but... Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Mm hmm Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. What the hell is going on? Cut the act. You set us up and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld. And you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap. But I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Sure. But why not tell the truth? It's just that, well, they could have intercepted that thing as well, and then they would have known that you have, would have known about the trap, and, or that it would have somehow changed the situation, or some what something. Anyways, that was a really close call, so there was no, uh, for certainty, way to know that we would succeed. <sighs> you invested in me. Why lie? You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I knew that that would be his explanation, but it's still, in my honest opinion, quite stupid. Never again you hear me. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the Relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. A little late on for that info. I was just on the collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Strange. Uh, in a gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. Hmm. So disabling a Reaper. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Hmm. Interesting. Another derelict ship, eh? I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. 
It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. Well. Yes, I should try the so Legend of Zelda. Men didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. I might agree, but I still don't like it. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Check Edie's systems. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. <laughs> My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. Well, so are I indeed, after all. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. We've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip to the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we need to build our team first. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Stick with building a team, obviously enough. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. <sighs> oh, the elusive man. Video is shoppy. Yeah, unfortunately today it has been, it isn't usually this bad, but today it has been like a, a more dropped frames than usual, unfortunately. Sorry about that, elusive man. But otherwise, welcome to stream. I do also upload this later on into my YouTube channel, so one can also watch my Mass Effect series through there. Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2. So, it's also there. Um... Mm. Yeah, the first Zelda was fun, even if I didn't watch it completely. But you know the reasons for that. Well, like I said, I'm definitely going to do other stuff before I go here. Uh, very much so. I have no interest in going to the Derali Creeper thingy at this point. Play. So you really need to advise me on that. I definitely have no interest going there yet. Hmm. It's quite choppy now. Mm -hmm. Well, I might try to do so indeed. That I'll try to change the server. As such, this is a pretty good place to be trying to do that anyways. That I'll just uh, say. Uh, I'll stop the recording here. And we'll be back very soon. We did the one mission at least. And then I'll just be back very soon after I try to see if I can switch the OPS server to the other side place. To the Helsinki. And that might be fixing it. So I would be back in a few minutes or so. 
um, I think that's an okay plan. So this is the first part of this stream and uh, we'll be back then for more in just a moment or so. And I'll see if I can fix it, hopefully working even better than it has. Yeah, it's a two hour stream nonetheless. Uh, one recording session and then I can do the other so it will be fine like that so I'll be back in a moment thank you everyone for watching here and all later on in YouTube as well and uh, yes see you very very soon more <laughs>